Most people face serious issues trying to install EA Cricket 2005 on modern PCs. From black screen problems, please insert correct CD-ROM errors, insert CD2 messages, to annoying compatibility issues on Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. But in this video, I'll show you exactly how to install EA Cricket 2005 safely and error-free. No black screens, no CD errors, just smooth gameplay on any Windows version. Stick with me till the end. We'll fix it once and for all. Just Before we begin, make sure you have a legitimate copy of the game. If not, you can buy it officially from Steam, EA's website, or Amazon. Uh, Using an authentic version ensures a smooth installation and helps avoid unnecessary problems. Let's get started. There are two methods to install EA Cricket 5 on your own PC. Both methods work well for Windows 10 and 11, but for Windows 7 and 8, 8, only the second method works, not the first one. First, turn off antivirus. To do this, go to Windows Defender, click on Virus and Threat Protection, then click on Manage Settings and turn it off. But I do not recommend turning it off. I have another safe way to do this, so turn it back on. First method. I'll show you a very safe method. First, you need to create two folders, one for backup and one for installing the game. Then, go to Windows Defender, Virus and Threat Protection, Manage Settings, scroll down and click on Add or Remove Exclusions. Click on Add an Exclusion and add those two folders one by one, the Backup folder and the Installation folder. That's it. Now open the game's rare file and extract EA Cricket 5 to the Backup folder we just excluded. Once extracted, go to the Backup folder, right-click on the first ISO file, go to WinRAR, click Extract here. Do the same for the second ISO file. Once both are extracted, you can delete the ISO files. No need to keep them now. Now double-click the setup.exe file. Enter the serial key. If you bought the game legally, it will be on the back of the CD or included with the digital version. Click Next. And when it asks for installation location, choose the folder we excluded earlier, EA Cricket 5. Click OK, then Next then next again, and click install. You may see a small error. Just click ignore. No need to worry about it. The installation process will start. It will take one to two minutes. Once it finishes, click yes, and finally no. Then choose the option, no, I will restart later, and click finish. Now go to the extracted folder. Enter the first folder, copy all files and paste them where your EA Cricket 5 game is installed. Now run the game from eacricket5.exe, and that's it. You're now able to play your nostalgic favorite cricket game. Still facing black screen issues or other errors after installing? No worries. I've explained all possible fixes in another video, including for EA Cricket 07. Just search how to install EA Cricket 07 by C70 Zero Zanny Gaming on YouTube, and check out that video. It covers black screen, CD-ROM errors, and more in detail. Second method. Go to the EA Cricket 5 Rare folder and extract it using WinRare or 7-Zip. Once extraction is complete, right-click the first ISO file. Click Mount. If you don't have the Mount option, you need to install Daemon Tools. I'll put the link in the description. Check it out. Also, mount the second ISO file. Now go to the first mounted folder and double-click on setup.exe. Enter the serial key. Check CD or digital receipt. Click Next. And if you want, you can change the installation folder. If not, directly click Next, then Next again, and now the installation process will start. It will ask to insert CD2. Browse and select the CD2 mounted folder, then click OK. Once installation is complete, click Yes, then No. Choose the option, No, I will restart later, and click Finish. Now go to the CD1 mounted folder. Enter the first folder. Copy all files from there and paste them where your EA Cricket 5 game is installed. Run the game. 
from eacricket5.exe. And that's it. You've now successfully installed EA Cricket 2005 on your PC. No black screens, no CD errors, and full compatibility with Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. If the game still doesn't launch or shows a compatibility error, try this quick fix. Right-click on the EA Cricket 5 shortcut, go to Properties, open the Compatibility tab. Check Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for Windows XP, Service Pack 3, and also check Run This Program as an administrator. Click apply and OK. This should fix most remaining issues. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I reply to everyone. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow cricket gamers. And subscribe for more classic game fixes and tutorials every week. Now go relive the nostalgia and hit some sixes. Want to play this game in full screen? Click on the screen now to watch my tutorial. It works with any game, including EA Cricket 5. Thanks for watching. That's the end of Intermarmal Huck. He certainly looks a little disappointed with that decision.